Now, our next guests were disappointed when the football season was postponed, but at least it's brought them closer together. Well, in their time away from the pitch, father and son duo Harry and Jamie Redknapp have finally found the time to work on their first TV project together. They both join us now. It's lovely to see you oh, both. Nice to see both. There you are. Um, so... I can't hear anything, guys. Sorry. Oh, that's oh, a shame. I... Well, I'm not got anything interesting to say, but we'll give it a try with Harry, shall we? Harry, hi, can you hear us OK? Philip, yeah, Holly, good morning. Good, good morning, stuff. Good morning, good morning. So this was, whilst we try and figure out uh, Jamie, who we're on mute with, that's Zoom for you, um, this was something that was planned before lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, the show was going to be, uh, you know, done in the studio with, a, with some people there, like a pub atmosphere. Uh, and then obviously with lockdown, it all got cancelled. And so we did it, we did it from home. And it's all worked well, Phil. You know, I mean, it's uh, we've had some good fun. Tom Davis is on with us, uh, the comedian and, uh, you know, the actor. He's a great guy. Uh, so we've had real fun doing it. And so, Harry, what was it like working with your son? Because it's unbelievable, actually, this is the first time that you've worked together. Well, yeah, anything to do with TV, yeah. Holly. But, you know, I'm sort of... Uh, I managed Jamie a couple of times. You know, I managed him uh, uh, at Bournemouth when he first started out and then late in his career at Southampton. So... I've actually managed him a couple of times. I actually sold him when he was at Bournemouth. Did you? Um, <laughs> his his mum wasn't yeah. best pleased, <laughs> and I sold him. I've not forgiven him. <laughs> we, we took a we took a profit on him. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. How does that feel, and then, Jamie? Way, I think we've got him back now. How does it feel to be yeah, sold yeah. Uh, to be sold <laughs> by your father? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Good, good morning, guys. Morning, Dad. Yeah, well, it, it, I, I'm not over it to be honest, Philip. It's been a, it's been tough, and uh, obviously a lot of time to think about things. And the fact that my dad sold me, yeah, I'm, I'm he's lucky that I'm still working. And put it that way. Well, Jamie, the dynamic must have changed though here because you are the sort of host of the show. You're the one holding it all together, so you've slightly got the upper hand this time. So how does that change the dynamic? Well, Dad's the star of the show. Absolutely, with his stories and, and the way that he comes across, he's fantastic. So, and obviously we're lucky to have Tom. But it's difficult because obviously, you know, the, the, this era is so... I mean, you got, I'm sure you guys accept it as well when you're trying to do Zoom, trying to do Skype. So obviously the technology is difficult and we're normally waiting for mum to fix it so dad can come on. He's normally a bit <laughs> late. And I sit there sometimes during filming, I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, you know, he wants a cup of tea and a, and a roast dinner from Sandra. So it, I have to, we have to keep his spirits up, keep him entertained. But he's been fantastic. Well, he really we, has. Uh, we, we, obviously, we can see your feeds before we cut you onto the telly. And, uh, and Harry, we've been watching Sandra setting you up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't, you... that would make good television. Me, oh, no. You we can't... didn't have a domestic, did we? No, you no, didn't you have didn't. a domestic. You never so did. So you can't, you can't, is Sandra there? You can't do it, can you? No, I haven't got a clue, Phil. I'm, I mean, I'm absolutely useless. I've just gone away from the old telephone that I had that you, you know, you couldn't, do anything on it was, and I've got I've now got a new te a new telephone that uh, is up to date. I'm I'm completely in the old world, you know. Well, Harry, you seem to be really enjoying life now and having like more fun. I guess sort of football, that career, your role within that was a much more sort of serious role. Do you feel like you've sort of you know coming out of the jungle, that experience, yeah. what you're doing now, having a laugh? Is it just a sort of different world, really, for you? Uh, for sure, Holly. I mean, when you're a football manager, you know, it, you really don't get a lot of time to be happy about too much. You win on a Saturday. Then you're worrying about the following week, how are we going to get a result next week? When things are going bad, I, I've got to be truthful, you know, looking back on it, the lows at times were scary. I mean, I would get so low when we got, you know, things weren't going well, we'd get beat uh, and have a bad run, maybe in a relegation battle, the crowd are giving you stick. It, was, uh, it, it, it wasn't a lot of fun, to be fair, looking back on it. I really did. Saturdays were, you know, Sundays were could be very low days for me. Yeah, I couldn't pull myself out of it, really. But since I've come out of football now, you know, I, I sleep better. Um, you know, yeah, I laugh more. I've had more fun. It's, uh, it's been amazing, really. And, Jamie, what was it like for you then on those Saturdays and Sundays when Dad had had a bad day? Oh, it was tough, Philip. He'd come on a Saturday night when I was like 11, 12 years of age. I've got an older brother, Mark, and Mum would just say, listen, guys, don't say anything silly today. He's not going to be in a good mood. And normally it would mean like a takeaway dinner, Chinese takeaway, maybe at 10 o'clock on the way back from a, a game up north they'd lost. That was out the window. So he wasn't getting that. 
And it was just a case of just letting him. I always found that, though, I don't know if you'd agree with this, Dad. I was maybe the one person that we could talk about with football, what went right, what went wrong. And we always seem to have that great relationship where we could talk about football all the time. So it was pretty, I was quite lucky in that respect. I didn't used to wind you up or, or make you feel any worse, I guess. No, I mean, I wouldn't come home and take it out on the family. I wasn't going to come home and have arguments. With, you know, I just would, would go into my shell very, very quiet, you know. And we never made arrangements to go out with anybody on a Saturday night because if we, you know, I wouldn't want to, I would be no fun in company if I if we had a bad day. So, but no, Sandra got used to it after 50 odd years. So it wasn't a problem. She knew how to handle me. Um, Harry, I imagine sort of within your career, the only silverware you were focused on was the footballing trophies. However, we have to say congratulations. You've been nominated for a BAFTA. How does that feel? Yeah, great, Ollie. You know, uh, Harry's Heroes was just an amazing thing for me to do. And all, with all those great ex-England footballers, you know, lads that I really absolutely loved and looked up to and, you know, to be with them. We've been on, you know, we've, we've made the second series this year. It's It's... It's been fun and it's been some real good stories, true stories, sad stories coming out of it all. You know, some of the lads had obviously had, had big issues in their life and uh, and they've come out and opened up and talked about it and, and now getting help on them uh, on their issues. So it was it, it was fun. It was also very there was also a very serious side to it as well. But just being around uh, ex England players, great players, was was great fun for me. And, uh, and, Jamie, that is always a thought amongst all sportsmen, isn't it? I mean, obviously, you guys are both missing your sport. But if you mm. were, if you know professional footballers, professional sportsmen and women, then the day that it finishes is a big day in your head. Absolutely. I remember at 31, you know, having to retire and, and what, we're gonna, what am I going to do next? And it's very difficult. And I think that's why... I think especially in this period, I've found that we're reaching out to a lot of different people that are maybe just feeling, finding it really hard with what's going on, having their moments. And I think that's why we all have to check in with people and make sure that their mental health is OK. And, and certainly at this time, whether they play football or not, I think we're all, we're all finding this, this period quite difficult. And a lot of the guys, as Dad said, that did that show, I played football with Neil Ruddock and John Barnes and people like that, they're heroes to me. And, and I think that it's important that we understand that once you do finish sport, it is tough for some people. And then they think, well, you've earned vast amounts of money, you should be fine. It's not always the case because once that adulation goes, once the, the cheering stops, people do find that difficult to, to replicate that moment in your life. Yeah, and, um, and Jamie, obviously now for you, you've got another challenge on your hands because you're homeschooling with those boys. Uh, how has all that mm. been going? You enjoying that? I can't say I'm enjoying it, Holly. I don't know about you, but it's so tough. My, my respect levels for teachers has gone up. And, and Google, thankfully, has saved me an awful lot of, of humiliation with my kids and pretending I know the answer to everything. Lucky enough, I think like uh, your youngest, I think uh, bo has gone back to school now, which is very fortunate. So that's been a, a big help. But it's been fine. And it's been a period where you tried to get, make the most of it, make the best of it. And obviously learning myself as well, because there's been certain things I'm like, wow, I don't know the answer to that one. And I've... Uh, and the kids have engaged as much as possible. Yeah. But it's a tough time for everybody. I'm just pleased that Bo has gone back to school and, and he's back to learning from someone that actually knows what they're on about instead of <laughs> and, me. Uh, yeah. and, and Harry, the, the, you can play golf now. I'm not, I, was, I was trying to figure out who'd be happiest about that, whether it would be you that you can get back on the golf course or whether it be Sandra that you're out of the house. <laughs> I, would think, I would think Sandra, Philip, you know, she's, I would think she's pleased to see me disappear early in the mornings off to play golf, you know? I'm off today, actually, to play. I'm playing this afternoon, so I love it, you know. My golf is not great, but I really do enjoy it, so oh, it's well, good fun for me. Oh, it's lovely to speak Thank to both, both of you. you. Great show... to talk to you. And you too. Uh, the Thank show we're guys. talking about is, of course, uh, Red Nap's home fixture, Fridays at 10pm on Sky at 1. Uh, take care, both of you. Thank you.